Okay, so in this video, we will see that how we can receive the messages from the Azure service bus. Previously, we have seen that how we can send uh, individual messages to Azure service bus. And also, uh, we have seen the another example that is your queue send example two that we can send uh, multiple messages using the array or you can say the batch. So, so let's get started. I mean, it's a very simple for example. So, I'll create a simple Java class, say example is QRC example. Uh, so, say example. Okay. Uh, so, first of all, uh, we'll create a main, simple main method. Okay. And then after, we will require a connection even for the receiving the message. So, for connection, we require a connection string and queue name. So I'll put uh, two variables that is a connection string and a queue name. And I'll copy it from the previous examples where, where we will we have used for sending the message to a job service bus. And then after I will um, create another message uh, method called uh, receive messages. Simple receive message. So what we have done the um, sending messages that in an example, the previous example, we have created the service bus and a client using the builder design pattern. So in this case, uh, we'll use the process client that is a receiver client um, operating. So code for that. Uh, so let's first of all, we will create the countdown latch. Uh, this is a, a setting class. And then after we'll use the build process of client, I just copied uh, some of the things from the Azure website, sample examples that Azure has provided. So it's very simple. Using the builder, there's a builder design pattern, and this is the process process client we'll use for receiving the messages. So it's uh, just you taking the connection string, which is uh, required to, uh, for connection. And then after we have created the processor, which is receive processor. And then we are using the, uh, we'll pass the queue name, uh, in the queue name method, and then we have uh, two things one is for processing the messages, another is in case any error can be process error that we have to create as a process both the method and then after we build uh client. So let's first of all uh, we'll create a blank processor error method. So uh, currently we are putting it blank, but uh, in case of the production and in case of any complex that we have to handle the exception over here. And then after uh, we'll create a simple process method. I'll just copy it from Azure website. Sample examples. Okay. So this is uh, nothing but uh, it passing the context. Context is uh, we use the context to get the messages. And then after uh, uh, we are just uh, publishing uh, or making the list out of the message ID, uh, message sequence number, and then the body of the messages that we sent using the sender. So it's very simple. And then after we'll uh, we'll start uh, the processor because we have just created the process. We have not started the processor. So it will start listening. But till what time will you want to listen? So say for example, for the next hundred seconds, we want to listen, and we'll listen that. And then after uh, after hundred seconds, we will stop and close the receiver client. It's a processor client, and uh, if in between the hundred uh, seconds if you get any message or if somebody is sending the message to the Azure service bus, then we'll receive over here. Okay, so that's it. Uh, so, yeah, one thing that we'll have to call actually from the main method. Okay, again, it will throw an exception. So, add it. So, no compilation error. Let's start it. So, our process has started, so let's try to send one message from the previous example. So this is a new 001. We have sent, so let's see in the QDC. Okay, so we got the same message. The sequence number is 18. This is the message ID and the content that the body is hello new 001. So let's try another thing. We send a sequence of messages that is A, B, and C in the batches and see whether we can receive these messages or not. Okay, send completed. So let's see on the receive example. I mean, yes, we have received 
all the same messages from the user service first using the Java program. It's very simple. I mean, we don't need to do any mistake. But yeah, we will have to make sure that when we are going for production or any complexity, we have to process uh, or put it through the process element. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.